Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new Cloud Design Box calendar web part. And this web part is designed to show you your own personal calendar items for today. So it's a quick view on a SharePoint page. Now, before you add this to the page, you'll need to make sure that your SharePoint admin has approved any pending API permissions, in particular, the calendar read one. So if it's under pending request, you just select it and click approve. If it's already under your approved list, then you're ready to go and anybody can add the web parts to any page that they have edit access to. So going back into my page, if I click the edit button, I can then go and add the new CDB My Events web part. And you can see that it pulls across any calendar items for today, Friday 22nd of April. I can also, if I just publish this page, if I click the next button, I can see tomorrow's items. And if I go previous, I can go to yesterday's items. If I click today, it takes me back to today's items. And if I click open my calendar, it will open up my calendar for today and I can see those items are correct. Now there's a few other options. If I edit the page and go into the web part properties, there is a privacy setting. If I turn that on, the privacy mode is enabled, events are hidden. So it means that if you're a teacher and you don't want students to see what's in your calendar when you bring up the portal on your uh, projector, then to see your events, you need to click show events. So it just hides it initially. 